We are here joined at the desk by a design duo and power couple, yes. Meow, Nate Burkus and Jeremiah Brett. Yeah. big day around here and because we are talking about the hottest design trends on the internet we want to know if you guys would uh, like to play a game love them or leave them this is design fling or the real thing mm. yes. <laughs> i really love this first story i have to tell you architectural digest of which your beautiful home is on the cover drool no big d um <laughs> reports wall-to-wall -wall carpeting is trending after singer lily allen and her husband actor david harbour revealed that they got wall-to-wall -wall plush where they flush that's right they've got carpet in the bathroom uh. guys no better authority to ask design fling or the real thing well, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on. So here's the thing, and I'm on, I can't believe I'm sharing this, but we rented a house a long time ago, and it had a carpeted bathroom, and it was one of the most comfortable things I've like ever we experienced. Miss it. You like really we, do. We act, I mean, it's first of all, it was so luxurious. No, we, we never miss put it. it in anywhere for. I would never else. do it again. Yeah, but it was great. Well, you, so, can't, you can't clean that. No, folks. there's not enough. No. 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 It makes me nervous. It's a PDZ, which means potential dribble zone. You know yeah. what I mean? And that <laughs> carpet in that area for me is a little, yeah, it's a little, no, little no, no. Yeah. It isn't, I mean, everywhere is really a potential dribble but zone. But the bathroom really, is like yeah. a, a high priority. Yeah, that's, yeah. Frankie got out of the shower last night and. Um, it, it, the floor had this much water right. on it. Yeah. So right. I'm just thinking back to last night and yeah. how disgusting yeah. that carpet would be. But it's nice to know that it's a secret guilty pleasure. I mean, it was sure. great. Guilty Can you imagine? Right. You're like freezing, you step out and your feet oh. go. So cozy. Mm -hmm. It's so nice. Yeah. Yeah. I just love that you were judging it when you saw it and then you just fell in love with oh, it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> totally. All right. So, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a fling. It's, it's a fling. It's a yeah, fling. It's a fling. But you want it. Yeah. And now you we all it, know yeah. what they yeah. want. You're going to dabble where you yeah. dribble. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next cheap, up, the yeah, real exactly. thing or a fling. The Wall Street Journal reports slip covers for your sofa. They're now chic again. Grandmas, you are vindicated. Yep. They say a slip cover in a fun pattern can give any saggy old sofa a total makeover. <laughs> Plus, they're easy to clean, so you can still eat a saucy, soupy bowl of spaghetti on your couch and enjoy yep. it. Are they tacky? Is it a fling, or is it the real thing? I'm in a slip cover right now. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Yep. I'm in. Watch. I love yeah, a slip cover we love, sofa. We love it. I love, I love Granny it too. Chic. I'm fine mm -hmm. with it. I'm doing it a ton for my firm. It's fun. It's easy. I don't know, and it can be, it, it's, you could play around with it. It doesn't have to all be like very old and antiquated. Right. So to be clear, it's not really a money saver unless you're a great sewer. Really? Because, no, because the upholsterer needs really the same amount of fabric, yeah. and it takes them just as long to measure and make a slip cover as it does to rip all that fabric off your sofa and recover it. Oh. But, um, so it's not like a big savings thing. Well, that's unless not you're, true. You could buy inexpensive slipcover furniture, and it reads a lot more expensive. Well, that's, so that's, I think my that's true. You're, you're yeah. talking about custom slipcovers. Yeah. I'm talking yes. about run down to Costco, get one oh. of those a one size fits all. Oh, exactly. Tuck it yeah. in. Oh my god, that yes. thing that looks like Remember spank the stick. Totally put the broomstick in, in the no, back. You just said that thing that looks like spank. No. <laughs> I First of all, be couch. careful what you say about spanks. Right. No way. Yuck. I hate. No, no, not that. Like, the thing that looks like a cat's butt with like all the wrinkles on the side. <laughs> no. no. So are we saying lot. design fling or the real thing? Real, real thing. thing. Real thing. Real thing. Perfect. All right. all right. Next, Delish reports TikTok's latest design obsession is in a nook and cranny of your home that you might have forgotten to decorate. Oh, it's the inside of your refrigerator. Check out these people artfully arranged arranging their seltzer cans and yogurts and maybe going a little extra, extra <laughs> by some floral touches. I am, the one had a framed photo of a cat. This is the cat. dumbest thing I've ever seen. What? Oh my God. Why this is like, you, you have too much time creativity. on your head. <laughs> like, go, go, go volunteer. Are you kidding? Go read the kids. Go I work in a soup kitchen. First this of is all, so stupid. You can still do those things <laughs> no, and put a frame not in your if, fridge. No, you can't. Not if you're like sitting there, like putting all your peppers in a pile and like picking out like a frame. It. And I don't a, like and it a, either. It's, oh my, it smells ridiculous. like dust to me. Yeah. It sounds dirty. It's gross. I don't get it. Now, organization in the oh, fridge. Oh, here she goes. Some bins, some. Um, <laughs> 
Like that, I will stand there for hours and be like, oh, the coconut water. Somebody came in and put it over there. Oh, you're. Do you know what his guilty yeah, pleasure is? I am. What? What's, what's his guilty pleasure? It's just organization videos and just people organizing <laughs> folding drawers videos. and folding. Ooh. You should be grateful I'm sitting here looking at people fold sweatpants. I am so <laughs> grateful. <laughs> All right, Unbelievable. So design fling or the real thing? Fling. Fling. It'll Embarrassing. <laughs> um, next up, speaking of untapped design space, House and Gardens UK reports the latest canvas is your ceiling. Mm. Yeah, this is actually one of the oldest design tricks in the books. I mean, hello, Sistine Chapel, right? right? But if you can't get Michelangelo to paint you a fresco, why not try like a floral wallpaper or a bold accent color? Basically, like they treat the ceiling as the fifth wall. Yeah. Is this something you do in design? All the time. All the time. We love this. Really? I love it. Yeah. Do you it's... consider the ceiling a fifth wall? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And I think it could be a lot of fun as long as it's rooted in what's happening in the rest of the house and it's just not just a oh, random outline. Yeah, exactly. It's got to have be part of the cohesive story. Cute. It's also great for renters. If you want to put up like an adhesive wallpaper and you want to add some type of personality, um, it's fun. But like you said, Ross, it's like it, you know, it's been going on for thousands of years. So the idea that I don't mind a white ceiling. I love a white ceiling. I think it's fine. I don't think it's obligatory. <laughs> Nothing in design is. But like, you know, People add beams, they add wall covering, mm. they add molding, mm. they add paint. That's all part of that. So yeah. it's just another moment to express yourself. Huh. And I don't think it should be overlooked. You can choose to just keep it white, obviously. But it, mirror. Mirror. Antique uh, mirror. Uh, yeah. Mirrors on the ceiling. Oh, yeah. We have it. There. That was about. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you always look great, by the way. It's a really like good an angle. angle. I've never <laughs> experienced uh, No, that. you just look up and walk out the door and go, wow, I'm wasting away. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so design fl fling or the real thing? Real thing. Real thing. All right, great. Well, that's Drew's news. Thank you, Nate and Jeremiah. Check out their amazing, awesome show, The Nate and Jeremiah Home Project, Wednesdays on HGTV and Discovery Plus. We'll be right back.